everyone, this is Mike from Rococo, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take the animation that you've exported from Rococo and organize them in Motion Builder into different takes. So if you have different scenes or different props or anything, this is a really great way to organize your animation. So let's get started. So I have this character in Motion Builder, um, just Paladin. He's fun, he's nice, he's cool. Um, I'm gonna quickly characterize him. Um, now this process, I have shown this in other tutorials, but I just wanted to show it in this one as well. Um, but you are gonna have to do this for um, your character as well as all of your animations. Now, you are able to save templates. So if you're using the same um, export skeleton, like the Rococo Newton skeleton, you can actually save the skeleton and then apply that to every single animation that you export. Um, but essentially what I'm doing is I'm defining the skeleton of my character and that's basically taking the uh, my character skeleton and then just defining it in this character control definition window. Um, don't worry about the naming convention. So for instance, like I just assigned spine to this outer node and then when I expand the spine view, it's going to be spine one and spine two and spine three. As long as you're going from top to, uh, sorry, as long as you're going from bottom to top, it doesn't matter, say you have spine three or spine four, as long as it's going from bottom to top, um, then it will recognize it. So, um, excellent. So let me just finish this up real quick. Excellent. So now that my character has been defined, I have everything, everything is checked and it's the characterization is validated. Um, sometimes it might get an error um, because it is the character is not in exactly T pose. Um, sometimes you get a character in A pose. Um, so you're going to have to force that character into T pose for the characterization to work. Uh, thankfully, when you export an animation from Rococo Studio, the um, the frame zero is actually a T pose. So you don't have to start your, when you're recording, you don't have to start in T-Pose, which is very helpful and very nice. So um, just in this example, I rotated his shoulder bone um, and now I'm getting this error saying that the left arm doesn't um, seem to be parallel with the X axis. So you'd have to then adjust it and move it around and try and get it back onto the X axis. X axis. There we go. Excellent. So now that I've got a validation, I'm going to lock it, uh, define it as a biped. Um, you can also go down to here and click check this box. Um, that would remove it, but we're not going to do that. Um, and since we're going to have our paladin as well as three other uh, skeleton animations, um, I'm going to make sure that I'm naming everything um, um, properly so I know what I'm selecting and whatnot. Um, excellent. Alrighty, so I'm going to save this. Okay, wonderful. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm gonna, I've already characterized the, my uh, animation skeletons that I've exported from Rococo. So now I'm just gonna import them. So. <laughs> Alrighty, so I have three, three, I have three animations, crouch, two punch, and walk. And these are just the the, the demo, <clears throat> the sample animations that you receive in Rococo Studio. So I'm going to export them. I'm going to export them all in separately uh, because if you export them all together, they're going to create different takes for each animation. And since we're going to organize on different takes, we don't want to do that. Uh, so again, I'm just going to import them separately. Alrighty, so. As I scrub through the timeline, here are our three animations. So 
And you know, as one take, it's fine, but it, it's just a little messy. So that's why we're gonna do different takes. And also we can then export it all out um, as different takes as well. If say we wanna throw it into Maya or it's Unreal or Unity. So, um, so take one. So uh, l let's retarget this. Um, so the Paladin's already retargeted, I mean characterized. So as you can see in the character, we have Crouch, Two Punch, and Walk. Again, I've already characterized these skeletons, so that's why they're showing up. If they're not showing up in the characters, in the um, character drop-down menu, that's because it's not characterized, so you're gonna have to go back and do, do that. Um, so let's make take one Crouch. So I'm gonna choose Paladin, and I'm under Source, I'm gonna choose Crouch. Excellent. Dun, 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 dun. He's crouching away. Excellent. Great. Now I'm going to create a new take. So let's do take two. Copy the data from current take to new take. Uh, hit yes, because if you say no, then the animation will not transfer over. And while we're at it, let's take our, make our third take as well. So same deal. And then down here in the navigator, I'm also going to name our takes. So under takes, just gonna right click. Whoops. I'm going to right click rename. This one's crouch. Second one, let's do two punch. And then the third one we're gonna do as walk. Great. So Now I'm going to go over, alrighty, so let's go back to crouch. Excellent. So now that I have the paladin crouching and being driven by the crouch skeleton, I'm going to go to character settings. I'm going to plot this. So I'm going to bake the animation input character. Oh, sorry. Um, if, you, if you've if you lost this, um, this window in the navigator, just head up to characters and click on paladin. It's going to give you the character definition and the character setting of the paladin. So if you lost that window, um, it's under that. Um, so we're going to do plot, skeleton, default settings is all good. You can change uh, plot rate. You can apply uh, filters, um, anything like that. And yeah, so let's plot that. Great. So now you can see up on the source, the source has changed to none. So now the paladin is doing his animation by himself because we plotted animation from the crouch skeleton onto the paladin skeleton. Alrighty, let's move up down to the second dig. And I'm gonna change it to two punch. Great, he's running around and we're gonna do the exact same thing. So plot, skeleton, default settings, great. Now I'm gonna go to third take, walk. Great, now he's walking. Now I'm gonna plot as well. Great. So, as you can see in our takes, the crouch, the two punch, and the walk, the source is none. So, we know that everything has been baked down onto our paladin skeleton. So, now we don't need our animation skeletons anymore. So, let's get them out of there. So, I'm going to hit Control W, go to schematic. This is all a little messy, can't see anything. So, right click, arrange, vertical. Excellent. So, here are my th here are my three animation skeletons. One, two, three. I'm going to get rid of those. I line them all. Delete. Yes. Delete character, delete character, delete character, and yes to all. Great. So now we have three takes of different animation. Awesome. And again, this is really great if, like, say you have different scenes and you, you bring in um, different takes or different cameras and you want to have everything organized so that not everything's all mumbled up or whatnot. Um, great. Um, so I'm going to save this project as a whole. So save it. Let's see. Wonderful. Now, um, 
now it's all plotted. So let's we're gonna export this out. Um, what's nice is that if you want to, what you can do is you can actually export this out as different takes. So we can use different take name. Um, normally as default, the save one take per file um, is not checked. So you're gonna have to check that and then use the take name. Um, I already created a folder for this. So we're gonna, let's see here. Let's do palette. Great. So crouch, two punch block. Excellent. And now in our file folder, we have three takes of each animation. And now we can use that in Maya or in Unity or um, in Unreal. And these are our animation takes. And it also includes the character and his mesh and it's the paladin that's moving and grooving. Um, so yeah, excellent. So that's gonna do it for us. Um, thank you so much for watching, really appreciate it. If you have any comments, uh, feel free to make a comment down below. Please like this video, check out any of our other videos, and of course head over to rococo.com or email us at support at rococo.com. Thank you very much, folks, and until next time.